Well, it seems Dortmund have won the transfer window. This is absolutely unbelievable. Julian Brandt, Torgan Hazard and Scholz as well. I mean, guess how much they signed Julian Brandt for? 22 and a half million euros. 22 and a half million euros. I mean, this, this is mind blowing. This is absolutely incredible. Like you can't help but be amazed by this. And then they've got Torgan Hazard, the middle brother of the three Hazards. Looks like Eden Hazard's gonna be moving over to a different club this summer. His little brother has already done so. He's going to Dortmund. Guess how much he's gone for? 23 million euros. <laughs> it's, it's crazy. It's absolutely crazy. And then yesterday they announced Nico Scholz as well, who for me is actually a very, very underrated left back slash left midfielder. Really, really what they, they need. He's just the same price, 22 and a half million euros. Less than 70 million euros to sign three very, very good players. As an Arsenal fan, this just drives me mad. Julian Brandt wouldn't come to Arsenal, I know that. But the fact that Dortmund have been able to pick him up 22 and a half million it's absolutely unbelievable and and so far obviously the window is so young at the moment they've won it they've absolutely won the window but there is still a lot of time for other clubs to come in for some players but anyway talking of these signings it brings me on to today's sponsor if you are looking to keep up to date with all of the latest transfers the football results all of the games that are coming up then download OneFootball. It's everything in one app and it's completely free. There is a link in the description to download it right now. Thank you to them for sponsoring this video. And actually, funny enough, this is where I saw the news break. Julian Brandt signing to Dortmund. It says here 25 million euros, so maybe a little bit more than I have seen reported. But still, the fact that Brandt has gone for less than 30, let alone less than 40, 50. This guy is a future German star and I just... I'm still absolutely in awe of this. So because I'm gonna be talking about a lot of other signings, I'm not gonna spoil them right now by scrolling down, but OneFootball have them all. So make sure you download it in the description below. And let's take a look at some of the other signings that are going around football. But just before we do, take a look at this. Oh man, I've been waiting. I've been waiting patiently to see the new Arsenal kits. And it seems like we have a leak and it looks legit. I've zoomed in to the pixels of this image. It looks completely legit to me, unless there is some guy out there that is so unbelievably good at Photoshop that he can pull this off. But for me, nah, I, this is this is real. I don't think that Arsenal wanted this to come out yet, but I'm sure they will be tweeting about this very soon at least. But the new Arsenal kits, and they look incredible. The Arsenal shirt reminds me, I think it's the 86, 87 campaign. I think it looks very similar. Big fan of the Adidas kits, and boy, these look good. I really particularly like the away kit, or maybe that's the third kit. I doubt it. We normally promote the home and away in the same picture like this. It just looks so clean, and I love the collar on the home shirt. Oh, man, I really hope these are the kits, because if they are, I'm buying them. I'm buying them. I, I normally won't buy anything Arsenal related. I won't buy any of their merchandise unless they buy something, unless they invest in the team, in the squad. And of course, they haven't quite done that yet, but these shirts are just too good not to buy. So very, very excited to see these in action next season. Right, so a couple of days ago, we saw the announcement of Bristol player Lloyd Kelly signing for Bournemouth. 13 million. This guy is a fullback, can play at centre back as well. I think he's six foot three as well. He looks to be a very good signing. Now, the reason I really want to talk about this though is Liverpool were interested. And I'm surprised that maybe they didn't go for him because they clearly need another left back. Because James Milner isn't a left back. He can do a job there, but he's not a left back. Let's all be clear. And also, he's getting old now, right? Although he's still got probably the best engine in the Premier League. The other left back they've got is Moreno, who, yeah, less said about him, the better, really. So I'm very intrigued as to why this hasn't worked out. The only real maybe, just maybe, the only real thing I can think of is that he didn't want to be a backup. He didn't want to go to Liverpool because he won't play every game. But 
why wouldn't you go to Liverpool? Why? They could win the league next year. Like, legit, they really could. And if Robertson gets injured or in other cup competitions, you're going to be playing for Liverpool. But fair play, he's gone to Bournemouth, and Bournemouth are a fantastic club. You know I love Bournemouth, and I think he'll do really well there. It's a very interesting signing. Only 13 million as well, which I think is a very, very good deal. Now we've got Ajax. Of course, they are heavily involved in the market so far, but mainly because they've got so many world-class players that could be on their way out. But they've gone ahead and they've gone and signed someone, which screams to me that they know Delict is going to be leaving. They've signed Lissandro Martinez. He is a defender. He's had a very good season, apparently. I don't know too much about him. But this screams to me that they know De Ligt is going. And he's heavily linked with Barcelona right now. Man City apparently are very interested. I actually would have liked to see him do another season. Maybe it's just me. But maybe De Ligt could do with just one more year. He's still only, what, 19 years old? He's captain of the club. And maybe he could get them one step further into the final of the Champions League next season. You never know. I think it's unlikely now that a few of the other stars, like Frankie de Jong's already gone. Looks like Nerez will be going. It looks like Ziyech will be going. So I don't know if they'd be able to do the same again next year. But Delict linked with Bayern, Barcelona, PSG, Man City, Man United. But it looks like he will be going to Barcelona. He has said he would like to link up with Frankie de Jong. So it looks likely that that could be his choice. But however, I was thinking with Vincent Company now retiring from football, he's now... Sorry, technically he's not. He's become a player manager for Anderlecht. I mean, I can't I can't think of the last player manager. It's it's pretty crazy. Maybe Kevin Nolan when he was down at New Portals or something like that, but I actually kind of think with with Vincent Company leaving Man City, that left open a massive space there and the number 4 shirt, which I'm sure so, I'm sure Delict would really like. I if I was him, I'd be going to Man City. But hey, we will soon find out. But with Martinez coming in, it looks like they are preparing for life without Delict. So with Brandt leaving Leverkusen, they've of course needed to replace him. They did it early. It was actually last week this was, out. this was announced. We have Demir Bay, Demir Bay, however you say this guy's name. Very good player from Hoffenheim. And it's 28 million euros, which um, is more. It's more than Julian Brandt. It's mind-blowing. But the real thing, I think, now for Leverkusen is to keep Havertz which I think is going to be very, very difficult. Huge transfer rumour right now surrounding Rakitic and Manchester United. Apparently some sort of deal could be put forward there. 31 years old. Some say he's past it. Some say he's still in his absolute prime. Everything I've seen of Rakitic over the last few years has been nothing but good. This guy is an incredible talent. And as Jose Mourinho said himself in an interview recently, one of the most underrated players in the world, no question. If you're a starter in a Barcelona squad as good as this one, you have to have good ability. You have to have good quality, world-class quality, you know, top of your game quality. And I think Rakitic still has that. But is it time? Is it really time to make a move to Manchester United? I personally don't think it would end very well. I don't know, man, but apparently he has said he is not interested even though Barcelona might be open to listening to some offers. Of course, they're bringing in Frankie de Jong. Maybe they want to play him in Rakitic's position, but it's an interesting one. Certainly one to keep your eye out on. And then we've got Mata out of contract. He could be leaving Manchester United for free, which is pretty mental. And apparently Newcastle want him. That might be one of the craziest deals. I really would not have expected that. But do you know what? I think it could be brilliant for him. And leaving Newcastle could be Rondon, apparently on his way to West Ham. Just a rumour at the moment, but I think it would be absolutely stupid of Newcastle to let him go. I think he is one of the most dangerous players. Everyone, I'm sure, would agree with me that Rondon, on his day, is unplayable. But he surely, he has to stay at Newcastle. That would be a massive loss. Also, another player that could be leaving Newcastle is Longstaff, which might just be one of the best names I've heard of in quite some time. Longstaff looked good. He really did. He's been a breakout player for Newcastle this season and apparently could be on his way to Manchester United. Apparently this could be done in the next few days. £15 million pounds or something like that. It's pretty incredible business from Newcastle, but again, why sell? Try and keep hold of these players that look so good to the team. And to finish off this transfers, rumours video, we have Leroy Sane 
apparently on his way to Bayern. So they really wanted Julian Brandt. Apparently that was one of their number one targets this summer. He's gone to Dortmund. Their next target would be Sane. And of course, you're looking at a lot more money. I think Sane is going to be worth almost double, triple Brandt at least. So probably not what Bayern wanted, but still. I mean, you can't really go wrong with someone like Leroy Sane. What a signing he's been for Man City. And he's barely their first team choice, which oh, it, it does my head in that. Imagine that you've got a player like Leroy Sane and he doesn't even get into your first team half the time. So he could be on his way to Bayern. You know, they've lost Ribéry. They've lost Robin. They might not get other targets they really want. They've missed out on Brandt. So it looks like they really want to get Leroy Sané. But that is it for this video. Thank you once again to OneFootball for sponsoring the video. Make sure you check them out in the link below. Thank you for watching. If you've enjoyed it, make sure you subscribe to keep up to date with all the latest transfers. I'll be doing these videos every now and again. And uh, yeah, I will see you next time.